I was such an egotistical cunt. Like I even look at back at how I was. Like the arrogance goes with the persona. And the persona at one point got beyond me. Like I became this fucking thing where even I couldn't control how big it was. Like everyone fucking knew me. Everyone fucking thought they were even my mate or I was the worst person in their life. Like I would hear shit. Oh, yeah, you know, this person, your mates, I've never fucking heard of that person in my life. And it was like that with their fucking everything. And it's like... Uh, it just got fucking crazy and then like next minute i'm on fucking tv and like this fucking paper article saying like <laughs> dating strippers and all sorts <laughs> like it was like fucking mental it was like think about it now it's like so good it's <laughs> yeah. so funny but back then i'm like fuck like my mum's upset <laughs> <laughs> i remember just before that happened me I, I was speaking to you it was probably like myspace days and mm. i was like you need like a tv show yeah because you had like all this fucking popularity and i knew you would up for anything and i was like we'll try and get you on like channel b or to <laughs> yeah. do some dumb shit yeah and then next thing you're like i'm going on big brother <laughs> yeah it was fucking crazy because a few people knew and then um when it actually happened hold up just it was it was something where was this it wasn't celebrity big brother was it nah so what what happened was i went to see friends will play and Stu harvey comes up to me and Stu harvey's obviously like short fast loud he's a back then triple j was huge and he's like oh big brother's doing voting and you can just do a video and then everyone votes for you and i was like oh sweet i'll get on like joking around and he's like no nah, we'll all get behind this and i was like okay so i went home made a video in front of my fucking webcam put it online t sent it to everyone sent it to parkway next minute like triple j tv like radio shows are posting it um everyone's got it on their myspace like everyone's got the ad on their myspace hilltop hoods in adelaide posted it like rappers i'd never met like american bands like it was fucking psycho i remember every big medical band was posting about it mm. i'm like this is like i remember when parkway did yeah. and i was like this is definitely because you were already way more as far as social media went it was myspace but you yeah. you were high up there yeah. on that so it was like you're gonna get more votes than fucking anybody yeah and then when i remember when i went to the first fucking casting and there's a big room of all these fucking people and they're like they only got a few people up to talk so they and then when they pull me up they're like oh michael can you get up and talk in front of everyone and i was like okay <laughs> so i was like oh well when you need me to walk into the house, you just give me a call because I'm not going to keep coming to these fucking shit <laughs> things because I'm clearly already going to get in the house because all these losers aren't going to get them saying how to vote this <laughs> mate. And I just walked out. And then, like, I just walked out of the room and everyone's like, what the fuck? Like, who, who is this? So I've left. And the ladies like, and the fucking producers and shit are like, you can't leave. And I'm like well, what the fuck else am I going to do in here? And they're like, okay, we'll put you in a room with all the fucking producers and we'll have a chat. And I'm like, oh, okay. So they've gotten me in the chat. And then the, one of the producers goes, oh, um, and he had a fucking cross on. And I was like, he goes, oh, so you're saying you don't drink and you don't do drugs and whatever. And I was like, no, I haven't since I was a kid. And he goes, oh, I think that's a lie because you're covered in tattoos and all this shit. And I was like, yeah, but you believe in God and that's a fucking lie for your whole life or something. I said something on those lines. No, you believe in Christianity <laughs> and that's been a lie for your whole life or something. And then he's just like, and they're all just like talking in between them and they're like, okay, Michael, that'll be enough. <laughs> And I was like, fuck, I'm definitely going to not get on now. <laughs> and then they called Literally, you, you were definitely. Yeah, they, and that. then they called me and they were like, oh, we need you to go in on this date. And I was like, I can't. And they're like, what do you mean you can't? And I was like, I've got to go to band practice. I was like, Prom Queen's got this huge fucking tour, it's sold out. And they're like, oh, so then they called me into an office meeting and they were like, okay, so we really think you have a chance to like do real well. And I, they're like, because of your following popularity, whatever. And I was like, okay, but prom queens going on tour and all the shows are sold out. I'm like, this is fucking all at the same time. And they're like, how much are you going to make on tour? And I was like, I don't know, probably a hundred grand. And they were like, oh yeah, no, go on tour. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're like, don't risk that or whatever. And then, um, so we went, 
we uh, had a bunch of discussions and whatnot and then they were like how about we send you in as an intruder and we have you in for a few days you just cause chaos and then leave and i was like okay <laughs> so then i've gone in on the fucking thing um the same night Corey, the party boy went in and then um i think within the first day i made i made a chick cry um i ate a bug that was crawling along the ground i tipped my own piss on my head um i did all this stuff and they wouldn't put it on tv and then it got to like a few days in and i was like i'm gonna climb the fucking fence and just go home <laughs> because i was already over it and they were like i climbed the fence and they were like michael you can't like escape by that stage like they were calling me into the diary room and they'd stop talking in the big brother voice because they were that over me <laughs> like it just became the producers like because they're just like this guy's a fucking michael please yeah like, can, you, can you please calm down and i'm like oh, okay wait yeah. when, when you were climbing the fence i climbed this fucking is it the voice goes michael yeah, <laughs> to the the diary. yeah it was literally like that and i'm like up a tree and i'm trying to <laughs> fucking grab the roof and then they're like back to the diary room and i was like in the diary room and they're like oh, well, Michael, you can't escape. And I was like, oh, why? And they're like, well, you won't get paid. So I'd made a deal previously where I was on a 1000 a day. So then I ended up with about fucking 20 grand or something because I'd been in lockdown and all these travel days and all this other stuff. So I ended up with a fair bit of money. So then they're like threatening to not pay me. I was like, okay. And then I'm like, well, if you, I can't escape, can you get me a can of Coke? And they're like, no, we can't get you a can of Coke. And they're like, no one else is allowed a can of Coke. So I've sat and made a fucking, I'm like, oh, I'm taking a stand then. I'm not leaving the diary room. So I've put my feet up against the fucking door and I'm sitting in the diary room and I'm not letting anyone in and I'm not leaving. So eventually they give me a can of Coke. They're like, we'll give you this can of Coke if you just shut the fuck up and leave. And I was like, okay, sweet. So I've gone out and they're like okay you've got to drink it in here i was like yep sure get up walk outside drinking this can of coke so we're on rations there was only water and chicken at the time and a bunch of other shit so i've walked out drinking this can of coke it was like you know outrage so then like a couple of days later they're like oh okay we're doing a surprise eviction and i was like yep okay so terry they're like terry's gonna vote everyone out and i like pull her aside i was like i've got to go i've got to go on tour she's like okay we'll vote you we'll vote you out first blah 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 so then um then we fucking come around to it and everyone's like oh thing and then she's like thing but you're out blah blah so i've i've literally like said goodbye to everyone and the funniest thing was a perth guy and knew who i was had tickets to the show basically was starstruck when i walk in and then so i've left and then like pretty much i get into a fucking cat uh get into the big brother car straight to the goldie straight grab my bag from the air uh, thing airport straight to adelaide back to band practice Fuck. it was like and the craziest thing is i'm in the house and every fucking magazine and every like street press has got prom queen passed all over it blunt you name it it's like every mag existed and we're on every fucking cover and we're doing the biggest tour and i'm in a fucking house locked in and everyone's like what the, what the fuck is happening like it's the most sight i like if I, I wish i was a fly on the wall to see the world the way it was when i went in there like i wish i was at my house you know or like at the football club in Odenga where everyone went and watched it or at like with all the band members watching me walk into fucking national television when we've got this fucking tour where we've sold tens of thousands of tickets like i think it, i think we did 20 something shows and there i don't think there was a show under under a thousand like there was every, like sydney was like two and a half thousand a night every melbourne show was a thousand like we did like four shows in melbourne a thousand a show was that the um that final tour with uh bring, bring me yeah. yeah you know what's funny is we were watching because me and delby were sharing an office at the time um and we were watching there was like live feed updates on what was going on in the house <laughs> and they were not putting you in it that much like it was like we were like why the fuck aren't you like just completely focusing because on I this dude too much. yeah <laughs> and i remember you said something and they, they always kept censoring your feed yeah kind of thing but you'd done something i remember you eating the bug because they were like michael has decided to eat a bug and it was like typed like that I yeah was like, this is fucking hilarious but you said i think you made some girl cry because she was like she was trying to take a stand and say that you were a prick or something and you were like oh you're only on here to be a fucking fhm yeah <laughs> he yeah. Like to get the cover of fhm yeah. or something she started crying yeah and then this i don't know if there was like an older 
woman in there. Yeah, that's the one that kicked me out. Yeah, and you were like, shut the fuck up, Mrs. Downfire. <laughs> yeah, I got her fully. Yeah, she was fucking, and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> if I said that now, oh my God, I'd be fucking cancelled left, right, and centre. Dude, but I when Mrs. Downfire was yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, like, it was fucking psycho. And then, like, so Prom Queen's played, and like, Terry's obviously voted me out. So I'm, there's fucking 2,000 people every night fuck saying, Terry. fuck you, Terry, and like flipping it off. So I remember they, like, had they had these updates on big brother like and they were like about like people are just out of the house and they're like us doing these fucking huge shows and like so then they, they sent me this list of these nightclub appearances i was meant to do and i just ignored the email i was like fuck that like what do i want to do like and then and at the time like i think we were going and like dj and clubs and shit and we were getting fucking thousands yeah so we were like me or jj or me and jonah or fucking someone we'd go like play some fucking nightclub and play blink 102 covers like blink 182 songs and they'd pay us two thousand bucks just to cut showing up and the big brother money wasn't that